What's up you guys, the Tools for Techies here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a lens flare in Photoshop CS5 or CS4. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open Photoshop. And once you open Photoshop, you just want to, um, you want to get your JPEG image ready, and it doesn't have to be JPEG, obviously. I'm just saying that because mine happens to be. And so, before you do anything, when you see your layer selected right here on the bottom right, you want to take this lock and you want to drag it into the trash can. And what that does is it allows you to make any edits. Um, uh, sorry, it allows you it allows you to make any edits to the photo. But if the garbage can is up there on the layer, then you can't do anything to the photo because it's locked. Okay, so once you um <clears throat> once you've done that, you want to create a new layer right here. And once you've created a new once you've created a new layer, what you want to do is go to the uh, paint bucket tool. And you want to basically paint the whole thing black. I know it seems weird right now, but trust me, um, it'll look good. <laughs> Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to go to Filter, you want to go to Render, and you want to go to Lens Flare. Oops. And so now you can see that this Lens Flare dialog, sorry, this Lens Flare uh, box comes up. And you could change the Lens Flare to however you want. Um, I'm just going to do this and press OK. And after you pressed OK, you want to um, go to this normal drop down. You want to click it and you want to go to screen. And what screen does is it takes all of the um, n unnecessary like uh, color away from the main object you want. So in this case, it would be the um, <clears throat> it would be the light. And so now that you've taken off the light, what you can do now is just um, resize it to whatever you want. So I'm just going to make it bounce off the hood of the car like so. And I guess I could have made this more uh, like vibrant, but it's okay. And what you can also do is you could take the eraser tool, change the opacity down, and basically just erase a little bit from the hood to make it look like um, like the sun um, like beam is coming right over the hood, but it's not quite right over it. All right, so I use this tool a lot, and I'm sure you guys will use it as well. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know I haven't, I know I haven't created a video in a long time, but just between school and stuff, it's just been really hard. But I promise that I'll have, a, I have a bunch of tutorials planned out for this week and next week. I right, thank you guys so much for uh, watching, and make sure to subscribe and rate and comment all the little diddly doos down there. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Peace.